Nice. Six to nine. Now here is something I, it just gets under my skin because every year it's the same story and nothing changes. Less than two weeks into the winter initiation season, we now know that uh, five, five young boys have died in the Eastern Cape. The winter initiation season started 10 days ago and the Provincial Cooperative Governance and Traditional Affairs Department, COGDA, says that they're on high alert as they anticipate that many boys are going to be heading to the bush at around this time. They're saying that they're calling on parents and traditional leaders to work together to ensure that whoever is circumcising these boys uh, does so uh, legally and that any illegal circumcisions uh, result in arrests. Uh, that's what they are saying. And it just boggles my mind why this thing is still allowed. So one of the issues that Cocktail always brings up is that you know, many of these young men are pressured to go to these initiation schools. They're saying their policies that only young men 18 years and older should be circumcised. And I think it misses the point entirely. Listen, we know that in a proper environment, babies as young as eight days old can be circumcised and don't die. Babies as young as eight days old can be circumcised and don't die. This is a surgical medical procedure. There is no other exception that is made except for this one. And the only reason it is made is because of political correctness and cultural sensitivities. I don't care about anything else that happens in circumcision schools because there's no standardized way of doing it. Now, I'll qualify this by saying I'm a Tosa man as proud as any to be one. I understand what happens and I understand what it's trying to do. But as far as the medical procedure, we need to stop this madness. We need to make sure that all of these procedures happen in a clinical environment where there are proper procedures. These boys don't have agency. If it can go to the men in charge of those circumcision schools, if they tell you you can't eat, you can't eat. They tell you you can't drink. You can't drink anything. If you're dehydrated and you complain, they'll tell you to man up. These boys die as their wounds fester because they're told to toughen up and they've got no way of disagreeing with the men who are in charge. Their families leave them because the whole point of sending them to circumcision schools is to cut the umbilical cord, if you will, to toughen up and prepare them to be men for this society. I think it's time we put a stop to this madness. Listen, do your secret ceremonies. Speak your incantations. I don't care if you summon the dead, if you must. Say your secret prayers. But for God's sake, stop killing our children.